the National Association for the Blind is one of India's largest organizations that helps take care of the visually impaired. It gives them food, it gives them shelter and it gives them a lot of clothing as well. When I recently visited the NAB, that is the National Association for the Blind, and I visited those visually impaired kids, I realized that they mastered the ability to perform all work other than walking with the passive stick which they had. And as soon as I got home, I realized that I had to do something for these blind kids. I started making sketches, designs, and later on I researched what was currently available in the market. I went back to the kids, asked them what implementations they would want me to put in the stick, came back home, revised a few of the designs, and then came up with a brilliant final solution. Please read the concept note after the video to get a better understanding of my project. So this is the first model for the stick for the blind. The horizontal line is the ground and the vertical line is the stick. We have the two touch sensors at the beginning, TS1 and TS2, which will enable us to start the entire program for the stick for the blind. We then have a color sensor, CS1, which will help enable the blind to hear a color, which the NXT will play out as soon as my program runs and understands the color. The next sensor is US1 which is for a shorter range and it will detect obstacles very close to the blind for shorter distances followed by the gyroscopic and the second ultrasonic sensor for longer range. So these are the two touch sensors. We then have a color sensor and we have an ultrasonic sensor followed by a gyroscopic sensor followed by the last sensor, the ultrasonic sensor Alright, so these are one of the first modifications that I have been making to the stick for the blind What has changed is this part, uh, the ultrasonic sensor Earlier the ultrasonic sensor was static but now we have incorporated a motor on top of which the ultrasonic sensor sits This gives it a lot of freedom of movement as you can see, I've connected another motor to it and this is how it will aid the blind even better. This is controlled actually by the NXT or the brain of the entire project but I'm doing it with the help of another motor. As you can see, we're getting about 180 degrees freedom of movement. This is the ultrasonic sensor after the entire kit has been wired up. The gyroscopic sensor, the NXT, the ultrasonic sensor which sits atop a motor which is to be rotated and the color sensor these are the two touch sensors at the top of the stick this is the entire project all wired up and ready to be used the first program that i plan to run is the color sensor program this will help the blind person to actually hear or listen to the color that is in front of them i've used post-it notes for simplicity sake and the blind person just has to put the color in front of the color sensor as I have shown here. Although the entire project looks complete, the backbone of the entire project needs to be added and that is this wooden stick that attaches to the bottom half of the entire robotic stick. This is the second program that I'm about to run and it will be activated as soon as I press the touch sensor. Now when the ultrasonic sensor which is mounted atop the motor senses an object at a very short distance it will give out a sound through the NXT. Right here is the gyroscopic sensor and it will get activated as soon as it senses a change in the angular velocity. What you just saw was the ultrasonic sensor number 2 getting activated. 